Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my favorite face masks for you guys. I've done videos where I reviewed face masks and kind of shared with you guys a couple maybe like favorites videos but I've never done one completely laying out all the favorite face masks that I use. Um, I'm the kind of person where or actually I used to be <laughs> where I would do a face mask and kind of just have a face mask day like every week and with work and stress and everything like that, I find that I am not finding the time um, for myself to do a nice face mask day. So I wanted to do one today. It's been like a really long time. Like I do face masks like once a month now, but I feel like my skin needs a little bit of a boost, some help. I've been having a couple breakouts thanks to hormones. Thank, thank you. Not fun, okay? Not fun. So I thought today was the perfect day to do um, kind of a nice spa day for myself and as well share with you guys my favorite mask. So I'm going to go through with you guys each one, how it helps me, how it helps in general, and kind of give you guys a demonstration on how I apply the face masks and so on and so forth. So yeah, enjoy and let me know in the comments down below your favorite face masks because I love skincare products and I hope you guys enjoy. So I always go ahead and cleanse my skin after or before I start face masks. So the first one that we're going to go in with is Tula. This is the exfoliating treatment mask. I do this after I cleanse. I've been starting to do this one and I do love it. I'm the kind of person where I don't exfoliate every single day just because of the fact that my skin is really sensitive. So if I exfoliate too much, I actually break out. My skin dries out. So I like to exfoliate at least once or twice a week. This is a really great one I've been loving. You apply a very thin layer to your skin and I leave it on for 10 minutes after 10 minutes I go ahead and rinse it off since it's an exfoliator it takes off all the dead skin and dry skin and it just leaves your skin nice fresh and brand new The next mask that I absolutely love is the Indian Healing Clay Mask. I actually did a video on this here on my channel. I'll link it below for you guys. I love this mask. I go ahead and I apply the clay in a little mason jar that I have, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put equal parts of water and apple cider vinegar in it. I mix it up with a Sigma foundation brush that I have, and then you go ahead and apply it all over the face. This has done wonders for my skin. It has diminished so much of my redness and scarring that I had on my face because of acne and I feel like it has really calmed down my acne as well so I absolutely love it it's a mask that I use every single week because I do have sensitive skin I do do 10 minutes but if you are a person who loves this mask you can do longer than 10 minutes but like I said since my skin is so sensitive I do 10 minutes and then I rinse it off with warm water next mask that I love and it's one of my favorites is the glam glow firming treatment mask I'm sure a lot of you have this in your collection as well and I absolutely love it you want to go ahead and use the little brush that comes with the glam glow and this is going to go ahead and just smooth out your skin you do look like a tin man for a little bit and my favorite part about this mask is peeling it off unlike all the other masks that you use warm water to take off I love peeling it off and I feel like it's just like so refreshing to see the mask come off my face when I peel it if you're a person who doesn't like to peel it, of course you can go ahead and wash it off as well. But I love this mask because I feel like it does make a difference in my skin. Next, I go in with my Dr. Grant Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask. I love this. This is one that I use more so in the winter time because when it turns cold, my skin gets extremely, extremely dry and my task all winter long is to make sure it is always hydrated. That's why I'm always moisturizing and always doing everything that I can. So this one is really cool. It's definitely different feeling. It kind of tingles on your face, which is pretty cool, but it is an oxygen mask. So again, it does help give some H2O to your skin and it also gives a little bit of moisture as well. It definitely revitalizes your skin and hydrates your skin from those really dry winter months. The last mask that I absolutely love, which is a very expensive mask as well, but again, I love it. This is the Fresh Black Tea Instant Perfecting Mask. It has antioxidants in it and it immediately reveals softer, firmer skin. I love this mask so much. It is such a soft texture to it and it's so cooling on the skin. I feel like it's a mask that, like I said, is a bit pricey. I believe this big jar that I got was $95, but I do love it and I feel like it is a great 
end to doing all of your face masks. It's always one that I do at the very, very end. It's always the last mask I always go in with. And then I just love it because like I said, I just feel like it's a great end to everything. And of course, when I'm done with my masks, I always end it off with my favorite moisturizer of today and recently and always for the past couple months, especially in the winter. I have been loving using my Rinse Skin Care Night Cream and I top it off and that's how I end doing my facial masks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite masks are. I'm always interested in finding some new ones. So let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.